In his 35 short years, Pero Aguayo Jr. achieved some big things, and he died doing what he loved. The effects of his devastating in-ring death still ripple throughout wrestling, in Mexico and throughout the world. Mexican wrestling legend Pero Aguayo helped found the promotion AAA in 1992. His son Pedro Aguayo Ramirez, who wrestled as Pero Aguayo Jr., debuted in the ring at just 15 years old in 1995 and frequently teamed with his father. The father and son team won the Mexican National Tag Team Championship twice. In his debut, Aguayo Jr. lost to Juventud Guerrera in an Olympic rules match at a Triple Mania event. In 1996, Aguayo Jr. created his first stable, Los Junior Atomicos, with three other second-generation luchadors. After taking multiple losses, the group disbanded and Aguayo Jr. began to team with Mystico, the original Sin Cara in WWE, with whom he won the Mexican National Tag Team Championship. Aguayo Jr. competed in AAA for eight years, then headed to CMLL in 2003, initially as a babyface to team with Negro Casas. Having often competed as a heel, Aguayo Jr. didn't exactly win the crowd's adoration, so the company turned him back to the dark side, a switch that would occur several times. His father also often made appearances throughout his time with CMLL. His final feud in his first CMLL run was against Hector Garza, which ended in a hair versus hair match that saw Aguayo Jr. win with a low blow. Aguayo started another stable during his time in CMLL, Peros del Mal, which translates to the Dogs of Evil. The stable has featured former WCW stars such as Damian 666, Halloween, and Garza, as well as current AEW stars Penta El Cerro Miedo and Taya Valkyrie. The group's the motto was, God forgives, dogs don't. God has mercy. I don't. In October 2008, Pero Aguayo Jr. left CMLL to start his own promotion named after his Peros del Mal group. Peros del Mal's first show was held in Mexico City in 2008, competing against a CMLL show running in the same area. Peros del Mal debuted its Peros del Mal championship at the 2009 Lucha Libre Expo, but did not crown their first champion until 2010. Other championships within the company included the Peros del Mal Extremo Championship, Peros del Mal Light Heavyweight Championship, and the Peros del Mal Mini Championship. The Mexican National Heavyweight Championship was defended within the promotion as well. The promotion had an open-door policy, where wrestlers could come and perform but go wrestle elsewhere as they pleased. Many wrestlers who had left CMLL and AAA came to work with the promotion. There were rumors Pero Stel Mal would work with CMLL with the stable acting as an invading force, but nothing ever came from that. Instead, they came to AAA, and it was announced they would be appearing at Triple Mania 18 in 2010. Aguayo Jr. and the rest of Pero Stel Mal left their own promotion in 2010 to debut once again in AAA. Aguayo Jr. stayed with AAA up until the time of his death in 2015. According to LuchaWorld.com, Aguayo Jr. underwent surgery in April 2011 to remove a tumor from his stomach. The luchador had reportedly gone to the hospital in Guadalajara in extreme pain and was admitted to the intensive care unit after doctors found a golf ball-sized tumor that had to be removed immediately. The Peros del Mal stable held a press conference while Aguayo Jr. was in the hospital and even provided x-rays of the tumor to the press. Aguayo was moved to a hospital in Mexico City for treatment before finally being released, but would receive further treatment for the following year. In a press conference that May, he said he actually initially believed the problem to be a broken rib and only found out about the cancerous tumor at the hospital. He added that doctors expected a full recovery. Aguayo Jr. had to dispel rumors he was hospitalized for drug and alcohol abuse. He showed his scar to prove he really got the surgery. LuchaWorld.com reported that he was set to return to the ring just six days later, but had to pull out of the show due to issues with medications. He would actually return to the ring a month after surgery and seemingly did not suffer any adverse effects of the tumor in the years prior to his death. Pero Aguayo Jr.'s shocking death occurred March 21, 2015, in a municipal auditorium in Tijuana, Mexico. He was wrestling for Crash Lucha Libre, an independent promotion. Aguayo Jr. teamed with Manic against Rey Mysterio Jr. and Extreme Tiger. Mysterio hit Aguayo Jr. with a hurricanrana, tossing him outside the ring. When Aguayo Jr. got back in, Mysterio knocked him into the ropes with a dropkick, setting him up for the 619. Aguayo Jr. visibly slumped on the ropes before Mysterio hit the maneuver. When the 619 connected, Aguayo Jr. didn't sell the move at all. The match continued on for almost two minutes, with Aguayo Jr. lying beneath the ropes. The referee finally realized how injured Aguayo Jr. was and stopped the match. 
Former wrestler Conan, who was ringside, shook Aguayo Jr. several times in an attempt to revive him. EMTs were reportedly late to arrive as they were tending to other wrestlers who had been injured earlier in the night. According to CBS News, Aguayo Jr. was taken to a hospital a block away from the auditorium. He was pronounced dead at 1.30 a.m. Following the tragic accident, Baja California state prosecutors opened an investigation into possible manslaughter. No charges were filed in the investigation, but Mysterio and the other wrestlers in the ring at the time were called for questioning. Juan Carlos Palayo, the Tijuana Wrestling Commission's president, told the Los Angeles Times there was no negligence in Aguayo's death. In the case of, of uh, the accident with Perro, yeah. the fans were like, Ray, Come on, man. We know what happened. You you can't let this affect you. Pero Aguayo Sr. retired from the ring in 2008. Many of his last matches were fought alongside his son. One of the team's highlights before the elder Aguayo retired was a hair versus hair match in Arena, Mexico, in which they defeated Cien Caras and Mascara Año in 2000. Aguayo Sr. did not speak at his son's funeral, barely addressed the public following his son's death, and died himself four years later in 2019. He made one of his only public statements in 2016, telling the Mexican newspaper Record, I gave my life, my effort, everything to Lucha Libre, and Lucha Libre took the most important thing to me, my son. I don't want to talk about it to anyone because I don't know how I would explain it. The Aguayo family also asked fans not to blame Mysterio, who was a pallbearer at the funeral, attending without his mask. Aguayo Jr.'s mother, Luz Ramirez, released a statement as the debate around the medical team's response continued. She said, We, as relatives of Pedro, want to thank all of you for the affection and respect you have shown for Pedro, and you will understand that we are in no condition to comment with respect to the death of Pedro. In the moments after the tragic accident that took Pero Aguayo Jr.'s life, Rey Mysterio Jr. addressed the crowd as paramedics were attending to his opponent. When we get into the ring, we give ourselves and our best to our public. A real accident happened. I ask you with my heart for a prayer that God protect him. Mysterio opened up about Aguayo Jr.'s death to Sports Illustrated in June 2015. Writer Justin Barrasso noted that Mysterio got choked up when hearing his name. Mysterio said that the world had lost the greatest superstar Mexico had ever seen. The WWE Hall of Famer said, When I meet great people in this industry, I like to let them know they are great human beings. Pero was definitely one of them. He was so warm-hearted, kind, and respectful. In an interview with Playboy a year later, Mysterio revealed more about the final conversation he had with Aguayo Jr. Mysterio said, I told him, you blew my mind. You are on another level. That was the last thing I told him before we went out to the ring. AEW star Penta El Cerro Miedo also spoke about Aguayo's passing in a 2016 interview with Tag Rope Wrestling. He said Aguayo's death was a major loss because he felt that Aguayo was like his father in pro wrestling. Penta added, He did so much for me in Mexico. I've made a promise to him and his memory to become the great, great luchador that I know he wanted me to be and to follow the mission that he had for me. The legacy of Pero Aguayo Jr. persists. Triple A aired an hour-long tribute to the luchador following his passing. Lucha Underground also paid respect to Aguayo with a 10-bell salute. Vampiro, Conan, and El Hijo del Fantasma all spoke about their friend during the show. Last night, we, we lost a brother. We lost a family member. Years later, in 2021, a Japanese offshoot staple of Los Perros del Mal was formed, known as Los Perros del Mal de Japón. The stable lasted a year, featuring former members Super Crazy and Tejano Jr. March 2023 marked eight years since Aguayo Jr.'s death, and his memory is still very much alive across the wrestling world. CMLL paid tribute to Aguayo Jr., taking time to remember the AAA Hall of Famer on social media. Mystico, who returned to his original ring name in CMLL after departing WWE, wore a silver Peros del Mal mask to the ring for a match in tribute to his friend and rival. CMLL posted to X, formerly known as Twitter, Requiem for a great rival. Mystico appeared with a mask to remember one of his greatest rivals, El Hijo del Perro Aguayo, eight years after his departure. Pedro Aguayo Ramirez will be remembered as one of the most influential luchadors across all promotions.